My name's Maria Miller. I'm a sophomore from Scout Catholic. And this poem is titled Snow White. I wonder if your favorite fairy tale is Snow White. If there is something about a young girl with light skin, dark hair, poisoned and paralyzed that makes you tick. You, Prince Charming, can slip yes into my drink and let my delusion give you consent. No matter how I strain my vocal cords, my screams refuse to breach my frozen lips. As reality was ripped away, my last bit of consciousness captured blurry snapshots of evidence that will never see the courtroom. Blinding bottle blonde hair, the pungent stench of Axe body spray, a twitching crumple of a condom wrapper setting against the backdrop of a pounding bass, shaking a frame picture slowly falling from the nightstand. Your dripping voice was the last sound flooding into my ear as I slipped into darkness. The next morning, as I ran my hands through my mangled hair in an attempt to nurse my pounding headache, I recounted the events of a nightmare I had the night before to my best friend. I remembered you as fiction, and by the time I sorted my dreams into a reality, the trail that led to you went as cold as your hands had been. The welts where your fingers shattered my skin refused to fade. I still flinch sometimes at loud noises despite their innocence. I know on my worst days a book dropping can throw me into a flashback, even if just for a moment. Casual touch has become a foreign concept. I brace myself for friendly goodbyes and family reunions where I am expected to engage with my body coherently. My girlfriend asks permission every time she touches me. I wish she didn't have to. But the worst aspect of my recovery is outside of myself because talking about it elicits three responses. Pity, with their head tilted slightly to the side, my new personality to them is victim, anger, asking who it was so they can have their revenge, interrogation, why was I there, who was I with, why wasn't I watching my drink? It's any combination of the above, all spoken uncomfortably because my life has become a taboo timeline of unfortunate events. They will forever wince when someone mentions the word rape with me in the room, wait for it to trigger something, watch their words, watch how they place their hands, I wonder about you. My dear prince, do you dream of me? Does my voice ring in your ears in the morning as a bell or a siren? Do you know my name? Or is my unconscious body still your fairy tale, frozen and quiet, your very own Snow White? All right, y'all, give it up one more.